On this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Semantic Ghost Universal Boot Disk. First thing you need to know is that you are going to have to have Semantic Ghost installed on your computer. Second, if you're going to use a flash drive, you need to have to have one that has at least 128 megabytes and is not in used at this time. Or use a CD disk that is re that is writable. First, go to Start, All Programs, scroll down until you see Semantic Ghost, and then select Ghost Boot Wizard. I'm going to go ahead and use PC DOS that is used on most modern new computers today. You do also have the feature to use MS DOS that is doesn't come with it on Semantic Ghost, or you could also use Windows PE but I'm going to use PC-DOS. On this selection, I'm going to go ahead and use Network Boot Package because I'm going to run this ghost casting over network. Right here, you have the option to use all different drivers that comes with the computer for the network driver. But on this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Universal Package Driver. Also, you need to be sure that on the BIOS that you have the PIXI, UNDI, or ROM that is on your BIOS enabled for it to work for the network. Right here, you have the option to be assigned for the IPs to come from the DHCP, or you have the option to manually, statically assign the IP. I'm just going to go ahead and let it use the DHCP and assign the IP settings. Right here, you have the option to create a CD drive, an ISO image, or a USB disk, or others. I'm just going to go ahead and use a USB flash drive disk. On this part, this is mostly used for advanced users on Semantic Ghost. I do know how to use this myself, but on this video, I'm just creating a very simple for this video. Right here, you're going to get this warning telling you that that flash drive is going to be reformatted. I'm going to go ahead and allow it. Go ahead and press finish. And on your computer, on the removable disk, here's your documents that you will see that you have created the Semantic Ghost boot disk. And that's how you create the Semantic Ghost universal boot disk.